this point in the process, you know what kind of VA you're looking for. You have a budget in mind. You've already mapped out exactly what skills you are or are not looking for. And you've created and posted your job listing. Don't forget to include a call to action in your job listing so that potential candidates know exactly where to reach you and how to reach you. That aside, when it comes time to interviewing your prospective virtual assistants, there are a couple basic questions that need to be asked as well as some more open-ended questions. Now, the following questions are suggestions. By no means do you need to use all of them, any of them. You can edit these to make them your own, but these are some of the key questions that you can ask in order to get the most value from the interview. Number one, what are your core skills and what skills do you consider to be out of scope? Starting with scope is a great question to just get out of the way from the get go because it'll help you establish what this particular VA specializes in. Do they have any niches and what sort of things don't they handle? It's always a good idea to know what's out of scope because if you are hiring a VA expecting them to do things like write blog posts for you or create content for your website and you ask them this question and they say, actually, I don't do any content creation. You've saved yourself a lot of heartache in the future. So scope is a big one. Ask what they cover, what they, as well as what they don't cover. Number two, hours and availability. Now I've talked about this a lot. It is ultimately up to you whether you want a VA in your time zone or not. Now you might be based in New York. Your virtual assistant might be in Hawaii. They might be in the Philippines. Regardless of their location, it's important to clearly specify where you are all located, the hours of their operation as well as yours, and whether or not you need them to be online during your business hours. Number three, what are their preferred methods of communication? Now this question really drills down to styles of work and making sure that you two are aligned. For instance, if you are tethered to your email all day long and you preferred email communication, make sure that your prospective VA can also handle email requests. Or if you prefer to do video chats, maybe a weekly Zoom, make sure your virtual assistant is comfortable with that, able to do that, or even in the same time zone that allows you to have a video chat. So really think through your own preferences here. Do you prefer text, calls, videos, emails? Now the ideal candidate should be comfortable with communicating with you through your preferred channel, but it's good to know what they prefer and what they can and cannot use. Another basic question to cover is payments. How do they prefer to get paid? Is it PayPal, Stripe, credit card, direct deposit, etc.? Getting that out of the way as well helps you both get on the same page for payment expectations, how often they expect to be paid. Maybe it's monthly, bi-monthly, uh, having these things out of the way as well will help you better understand if this person is a right fit for you. Okay, basics aside, let's get into some of the questions that will be the great divide because these are the questions that will help you assess whether your VA is going to be a long-term teammate for you or not. Ask them what their process is if they start a task and realize they don't know how to finish it. I think there are two reasons why this question is so good. Number one, you can get an essence for what they do in situations that they're unfamiliar with. If uh, ideally your VA can speak to experience and say something like, well, I've been in a situation before where I was assigned a certain task and it ended up being out of my scope of work and here's how I handled it. I think that answer is better than them kind of wishy-washy and saying like, well, I guess I would do X, Y, Z. That to me means they've never been in a situation before where they were assigned a task that they didn't know how to handle it. But the second reason why this question is so great is because you'll get a sense for how they work and if they are a truly independent teammate. So if you ask this question about, I've given you a task, you don't know how to handle it, what do you do? If their response is something like, uh, I uh, guess I would um, Google it, that's not a great answer. Ideally, they'll be able to tell you steps like, I'll research it on my own. I'll try to find the answers. I'll look at online courses. And if I have questions, I will come back to you. And bonus points for a VA who says th something like, 
this has happened to me before. I've actually researched something that was out of my scope. And in the end, I ended up telling my client that although I couldn't handle it, I could help them hire somebody who could. That is the best thing you could possibly hope for. I myself have been in situations where people have asked me to do things like create Google AdWord campaigns. It ended up being out of my scope and not worth the money or time for me to learn it. So instead I helped them hire a Google AdWords expert online and everybody was happy. A related question you can ask your VA is, what do you do if you've misunderstood a task that I give to you? In this scenario, you want to look for a candidate that has no problem saying to you from the get-go, I made a mistake, I misunderstood this task, I'm running into some challenges and can you clarify this for me? Having a VA that has no problem coming back to you looking for clarifications, I think that's a great candidate because it's someone who's not too embarrassed to ask you for help and isn't afraid to help you to align and get back on the same page. Another great question you can ask is about priorities and deadlines. So you can ask something like, let's say I give you a bunch of tasks at the same time and you, and you realize that you're too overloaded to meet my deadlines. How do you handle that? Ideally, you'll have a candidate who can identify tasks that are truly priority and tasks from tasks that are nice to have. While it might sound great to have a VA over promise, what you don't want is somebody who over promises and under delivers. That does not make for a happy relationship. And you know what? Things happen, days get crazy, deadlines can get crunched, but a good VA will be able to say that they'll come back to you with confidence and, and, and revise the timeline. Now we're almost done here, but I have a few more surefire questions for your VA. Now here's a good one. You can ask your VA, what happens if you have a deadline and your computer suddenly crashes or your internet goes out? Life happens, things happen. I myself have been working from a small town in Mexico and the entire city's internet went out. So things do happen that will be out of your and your VA's control. But having a VA who has a backup plan is a huge asset to your business too. Your ideal candidate will be able to articulate that they already have a plan in mind. So whether it's working from a smartphone, a tablet, a separate laptop, being able to go to a cafe or a library or a different home, some location where they can have internet service is a great response. Same with somebody who says, oh, I have a hotspot, a mobile hotspot just for this occasion. So if my internet goes out, I will still have connectivity. Worst case scenario, they'll be able to say, if in the event something catastrophic happens, I'll be able to text you an update. One of the last questions that I think you can ask your VA is to ask them to tell you a time that they contradicted a client. Now, this is actually one of my favorite questions because I love challenging clients. And I don't mean challenging in an annoying way just for the sake of being challenging, but I mean, good virtual assistants often will challenge clients and say, we've done this task this way for so long, have you ever considered doing it a different way? Or have you ever considered a different tool? Or even, hey, uh, I know you asked me to do something like this, but here's how I think I can make it better and faster. Again, this really comes down to how a good VA can really be your online business manager and not just somebody who's going to do your tasks. You want somebody who is efficient, self-motivating, is engaged with your type of work and business, and really knows how to help you become the most efficient person that you can be. When you're done asking these questions in the interview, ask if your VA has any questions for you, because a great VA will ask you things about you, your type of work, your business, what kind of things you like to do outside of work. Things like this aren't just idle chit chat. They're ways for your VA to get a better understanding and feel for if you are a good fit for their business too. So look for a VA who's confident in their responses, who has experience that they can fall back on, who has processes in place in case things go wrong, somebody who you think will be invested in your business and somebody who is interested in you as a person in your business too. In a way, I actually think that this informal interview is one of the most important steps of hiring your VA. 
So when it comes time for you to interview the candidates that you think you're going to work with, make yourself a cup of coffee, pull up a chair, and be prepared to dive deep into some of these questions.